that 2017 end of the year coaching carousel yielded three hires that I think all of us thought, okay, that's going to work. One was Scott Frost in Nebraska. The other was Dan Mullen at, at Florida. Yeah. Comes over from Mississippi State where he'd already been successful and had already worked in Florida. So, I mean, how is that not going to work? And then Chip Kelly at UCLA, where he's coming back to the Pac-12, where he'd been super successful at Oregon and now was sitting on all the players he was always trying to get out of Los Angeles. And none of them have worked. No. And Florida interviewed all three. (laughs) Yeah, sure did. (laughs) They were all three in the Florida search. Yeah, that was a crazy... That was a crazy search. And yeah, you're right. You know, I guess you could say that Dan worked the best as far as records and in division titles. And he's the first one to be fired. Yeah, (laughs) it's true. It's wild. And he was the third choice at Florida, right? I know Ross did a great story on on that search was uh, last year, the year before. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I mean, they they really wanted Chip Kelly. I think they were a little more lukewarm on Frost, but but if Frost had said yes, they probably would have snapped up Frost. But Dan Mullen gets the job, and yeah, I mean, everybody thought Dan Mullen was great there. And then during the pandemic, Dan Mullen just kind of lost his mind. It seemed like to me, it was like he just kept saying and doing weird stuff. And then it almost seemed like he didn't even want to be the coach at Florida. And finally, you know, he wasn't the coach at Florida. Uh, and it is surprising. Chip Kelly is at least going the right way. Right. I mean, his records are getting better. It's taken a long time, longer than anybody expected, but they're going the right way at UCLA. Scott Frost hadn't hadn't been able to turn the corner yet. The weird part was, yeah, I mean, Mullen starts 10 and three and 11 and two and then eight and four during COVID. And it did start really falling apart, but they did win the division. Yeah. And then last year, it just starts going sideways and there was not patience and he had not he was not recruiting well. uh, At least to the level of Georgia. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. And, and he wasn't and he Alabama. wasn't he, he he wasn't saying wise or smart things publicly to, yeah. you know, especially about yeah. recruiting. He really stepped in it a, a few times. And it's almost like I, I compare like his 2021 kind of to Ed Orgeron's 2021. Like they they both it seemed like in a way that they both were kind of like, eh, you want to pay me everything to leave? Go ahead. Yeah. Right. And they did. Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this ran out of gas. Um, Chip Kelly has been a weird recruiter. Very. Um, and I mean, he was dreadful the first three years at UCLA. Three and nine, four and eight, three and four, and then eight and four. And and his, and much of that eight and four, you know, breakthrough season was because they beat Ed Orgeron at LSU. <laughs> yeah, right. Established some momentum there. I, I will say this, Frost, I, to me, has not lost any of that passion. Uh, if you listen to him this summer, uh, you listen to him this week, he's fired up. He says sounds like the same guy. He's ready to roll. He th- loves his team. But since they've gone to the Big Ten, they haven't been any good. And um, they're the, the ultimate cautionary tale for these these conference movers. You, yeah, you're going to make some money. But um, but they're, they're just, you know, they don't have an Indomitian Sue, let alone the Johnny Rogers kind of players anymore. Oh no. And uh they they need some game breakers somewhere that can make something happen. And I, I don't know if this is it. I don't know if they can get there. Um, but they still have this guy that if you listen to that press conference today, you'd be like, Yeah, it's the right guy. 